Welcome back to Morg TV. Um, today we are picking a project to do. Uh, having a little break from my Chaos Space Marines uh, so I don't get burnt out. And I thought I would take on a display project just to push myself and see uh, how far I've come with my painting recently. Um, what I've done is I've seen a few people do this. Oasis Rising did it. First, one, first person I saw to do it, Martin McNeil did it. I, I've listed out my uh, miniatures collection, uh, unpainted miniatures. Um, so we can see. Well, you can see that in total, I've actually got. Um, just sum this up: one thousand two hundred and ninety-five miniatures in my store, which is pretty cool. Um, and there's every, everything that's kind of, and if you can, I'll zoom in so you can probably see a few of the things. Um, if it, you know, I've got, I've labelled it out by the company, kind of genre, or not genre, the game system, let's say. So that's Games Workshop, Warhammer 40k, Gargoyle Brood, Tyranids, Ten in a Pack, Tabletop. Now where it says Tabletop on the right here, that means that they're not for display. Um, if it says monster or display, that means you know I've got to spend time doing it. If it's tabletop, it's for a uh, you know for an army or whatever. So um, some of the highlights in my collection, uh, well, there's a great model there. Anybody that knows Kingdom Death, Wet Nurse, that's one of the original casts. That's a model that's probably worth a couple of hundred quid. Um, likewise, that's my Smart Max collection, Smog. Uh, I've got every single Smog mini. I'll show you them later. They're a brilliant range. Um, I've got their seven and a half thousand points of vampire counts. Actually, probably ten thousand points by now. Um, all the Warhammer Forge stuff, pretty much that I wanted. So some highlights there. Um, Tamarcon on the Tow Dragon that's no longer available, unfortunately. Um, Elspeth on Carmine Dragon. By the way, guys, if you're into Warhammer and you want Forge World, buy this stuff up. Warhammer Forge is OOP very very soon it's my advice don't put it off buy the stuff now because it's all going very very quickly that chaos dragon that's the big two-headed dragon that's no longer available as well so um, that was an incredible model by the way um, another highlight in my collection is this Chris Clayton hush bust probably the greatest bust ever made uh, the greatest paint job I've ever seen on any model um, some of the Rackham stuff uh, which is pretty cool Actually, there's quite a lot more Rackham stuff I need to put in. This is not a complete list, by the way. This is as far as I managed to do. All the new Wrath of King stuff, all the new Imbrunart stuff. Um, so, yeah. So, what I've done is they're all in there. Uh, I'm going to hit the random.org generator and see what the result is. So, um number it's going to come up with is number 138, which is... A smog mini Dr. Zeals. Uh, okay, well, I'll do an unboxing of that next. So, if you let me just pause for a second, I'll see you in a sec. Okay, so what you're looking at here is just a few of my smog 1888 miniatures. They are high quality uh, resin 54mm steampunk horror um, miniatures, French company. Uh, beautiful, beautiful packaging. Um, it is actually a game system. I've no idea how the game's played, obviously, but uh, the miniatures just basically blew my mind when I thought, first saw them, and I had to, you know, I basically had to buy them. So um, they are pretty expensive. You're, you're talking probably in the range of, I'm not sure exactly, but I would say these are probably 30, 30 pounds, something like that, like 50 bucks. Um, but you'll struggle to find more kind of um you know atmospheric or kind of cooler cooler miniatures um like i said before i do have i do do have the re the entire range and i'm quite proud of that because it took me a long time to get to get them all they're not always in stock or whatever so uh, i had to scoop them up one at a time and it took took a labor of love um but the one that we pulled off the list today is uh, dr zeals and i'm super excited that i'm actually going to uh, paint one of these. Um, I'll probably try to do it as a bit of a tutorial as well if anybody's interested because I want my channel to be quite diverse. There's lots of guys doing 40k and Horus Heresy and it's fantastic but 
I'm going to try to showcase other miniatures on Morg uh, TV from now on, as well as you know my my own sort of Warhammer stuff and Warhammer 40k stuff. So let's unbox Doctor Deals as part of this uh, process, and I'll see you in two secs. Okay, so as with all Smog miniatures, you get a detailed resin base. This is a big scale base, so um, they're not all that big. Some of them are sort of a little bit smaller, but this is um, this is a big model, as you'll see in a second. Uh, we'll put them on a little plinth by the time we've done. Nice resin plinth like this, because this will be a display piece worth keeping. Let's see what's in the back. Um, so as I say, with uh, with Smart Max and, and Smog in general, you do get incredibly detailed uh, miniatures, and they, they tend to come in lots of different little pieces. So this is Dr. Zeals himself. You'll see that there's a hole underneath his nose there. That's probably where his handlebar moustache is going to go. There's probably a piece in there if I'm not sorely mistaken. Um, I've had this model probably for three years, so this is the first time it's out of the box. First time I've seen it myself, so pretty pretty exciting. Um, so this model, I'm going to put a picture of, of it up on the... Um, you know, a photograph of the finished model in a second. Not the one I've painted, obviously, but this the box art one. And what you've got here is, which is pretty cool, is basically Dr. Zeals is kind of coming out of this... I guess it's like a mirror, or it's maybe not a mirror, maybe it's a... Um, uh, what do you call it, like a, a, a black hole or something like this and he's jumping out and there's this kind of creature, like octopus creature, trying to pull him back in. Uh, it'll all come a bit more clear when you um, when you see the picture I'll post in a minute. Um, but anyway, here's all, all the different resin parts and we will... Um, I'm not sure how it goes together, there's no instructions, so that's going to be a bit of fun referring to it. It looks like he's stolen some kind of some kind of artifact from another another dimension and he's jumping back out of the um, you know, out of the hole um, now the interesting thing is I can't see his handlebar moustache anywhere, I wonder if this piece is it, no that's not it um, so anyway we'll have to we'll have to look into, we'll have to look at, oh here it is so this is it here so yeah, you can see it's a pretty, <laughs> pretty small pieces. Um, so anyway, I'm going to put it together in the next video, and uh, and share it with you because I mean these uh, these minis have to be seen to be believed. Um, but yeah, so basically one arm there, one arm there, like this, jumping back through this other dimension, um, being chased by some weird octopus. I mean, what more do you want from a 54mm mini? Anyway, thanks very much for watching this video. Uh, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up um, and subscribe and comment. And we will see you in the next video. Thanks, bye.